What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I'm here to do the daily reading for February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Um, hopefully, you're feeling good today. If you don't have a Valentine, Epiphany will be your Valentine. I love y'all. I love y'all to my subscribers, anybody who watches my channel. Sending positive love vibrations your way today. Um, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. It is Tuesday and we gonna get into it. Okay, y'all. I decided to use these cards. These little sex and magic cards for today's reading since it is Valentine's Day. So we gonna tap in. See what is going on here. Hopefully, something in this message will resonate for you today. Hold on, y'all. I got to shuffle my cards up. Okay. That's how I always shuffle my cards. That's the part that y'all normally don't see on camera, but I already got the camera on. So. Alrighty. So collective <laughs> ironically the card that we got out is i won't cry for you so number 22 is on here so for a lot of you a lot of you a situation has been over with you know we're all on different timelines and i always say this so where you at on your journey you know take the message as it resonates or don't take it at all if it doesn't fit but with this i won't cry for you this is some of you guys are like really closing the door on that last relationship you were in you're just ready to release this shit now for a lot of you like i said this breakup has already happened you are no longer with this person um but this card speaks to acceptance so it's like some of you are finally accepting that whatever happened with that past relationship it just is what it is it's at where it's at you know what I'm saying? It closed out, it's over, and it ended the way that it did. A lot of you, I still feel like you still struggle with it a little bit emotionally. I mean, for the majority of you, you're over it. But some of you, you still struggle with it emotionally. You still think about the situation because for a lot of you, there was no closure. For some of you, you and this person didn't hash it out you didn't talk about it a lot of you didn't get an apology you know and i still feel like that kind of bothers you on some sort of level because you just for a lot of you you would want to see what this person has to say for themselves but then at the same time it's just like ain't no point in even hearing about it anyway at this point because of how everything has transpired all these secrets that came out motherfuckers been caught in lies and doing doing all type of disrespectful shit it's almost to the point where it's just like it's nothing else to say so it is Valentine's Day. A lot of people are in their feelings or they're thinking a lot about love. And I feel like the majority of the collective, if you're not in a relationship or you're single or you don't have a special person or you just broke up with somebody, whatever your situation is, I feel like you're ready just to put the last nail in the coffin and call it a day. It's just like, you know, it's nothing else that can be done on your end. It's no, no other emotions that need to be processed. It's nothing else for you to understand about the situation. Is you know all you can know. It is what it is. Period. So acceptance is out here. Number 22 is on this card. So for a lot of you, um, this would be like a... Um, that's not what I was getting ready to say. Number 22, some of you could be cuspers. Your birthday could be on the 22nd. Or um, your birthday could be on the 22nd or the person that you're dealing with could be on the 22nd of whatever month. Um, others of you, two plus two is four. So this breaks down to that twin flame shit. And I just seen 422 on my timer. So this could be relative to your twin flame. And others, some people could actually break up today. Like I, if, if you're in a relationship or if you've been dealing with somebody you know, you've been trying to wait to see if it's going to go somewhere for some shit is going to improve. Somebody out here is realizing that some, something isn't going to work out here. So it's like people are coming to terms with something like Valentine's Day is 
it's like judgment day for love. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you evaluate your partner. If you're not already married or you're not already in an established relationship, these are people who've been dating for a long time or or not dating for a long time, but been, been dating for a couple of weeks or a couple of months. You're trying to see, okay, are we, is this what I think it is? Is it not? Or you know what I'm saying? If you've got a little boo, y'all been entertaining each other, trying to see what's up. Like, you really on there with me or you're not? Is this is kind of like a little slight judgment day uh, for the lovers out there. Um, then we got self-absorbed out here. Self-absorbed. Empathy and show support so yeah that's why i said some of you may be feeling a little vulnerable today with this empathy card i feel like a lot of you are showing yourself some love like if you feel like you know you don't got that special person or you don't really got nobody or no one does anything special for you for valentine's day or you never had some of you may be in your village today but it's okay because i feel like you're gonna make up for it by showing yourself some empathy showing yourself a lot of love and care and understanding so some of you it could be a lot of self-care shit going on for valentine's day this year too if you are single you might be on some self-care like solo date type of shit which is nothing wrong with that i love that too um, but then others of you out here, I got this message. This is self-absorbed empathy and show support. I feel like somebody out here feels like you're being selfish with your energy. Like somebody out here that you know you can't take serious or somebody that you had to cut off or break up with. This person feels like you're being selfish with your empathy, with your, you know, that caring, giving, understanding nature that you have. Somebody feels like you're being self-absorbed. Like you don't understand what they're going through. You're not trying to understand it. You don't want to understand it. Um, and like I said, for a lot of you, this person could be in a relationship with somebody already that they're not happy with, or they could have tried to move on from you with somebody else, but the feeling is just not the same. I'm not going to say that they don't care about the person that they're with, but it's just not what they had with you type shit. And then look at this lady's face. So whoever this woman is that he's with, uh, she may feel like she didn't do did something because she broke y'all up or took your man or you know, she got him and you don't. It's like a level of pettiness to this woman that he's with. But at the same time, he's not even happy. Like, he's not getting the... I'm not saying that she's not supporting him, but it may not be the right type of support. You know what I'm saying? Like, the woman that he's with, she may not he or she. Because, you know, tarot isn't gender-based, but I just go by what I see on the cards. But he may be dealing with somebody who is... They are supportive, but not in the way that they need you know what i'm saying it's like whoever this person is that whoever this person is that he's with she doesn't understand his love language so it's just like yeah she cares but she don't care in the right way if that makes sense um yeah because then on the bottom of the deck we got loyalty and like I said, every time I get this card, this dog with the collar on the neck. So this is somebody who has doggish ways. This is somebody who's known to cheat. Somebody who's known to run around or step out on their relationships and shit. But they're still in this relationship, though. They're still connected to somebody because with this collar around his neck, this is a man who has to be in by a certain hour, have to be back home after a certain hour, or he know he has somewhere to go. He has a home to go to, but when he's out by himself, you may swear he's not in a relationship where he runs around and he do his own thing on this woman and shit, but he knows he has to go back home for whatever reason. Maybe these people live together, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yeah, like when you're outside in the world or you're at work or you're going to the store or whatever this man goes out and do by himself he could be a dog you know what i'm saying because she ain't around to say anything about it but at the end of the day with that collar on this person knows that damn like come eight o'clock nine o'clock she gonna be calling me asking me where i'm at so i'm gonna have to go home because you know that's where i lay my head at that's where i sleep at you know what i'm saying so this person has somebody to report to somebody to go home to or something but this person also feels like a level of loyalty towards you this person feels like they want to be loyal towards you, though, which doesn't make sense. It's like, how are you in a situation with somebody that you're not in love with or you feel like it's not the same as what they had with you, but you still have to report. You still won't leave that person. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to run around and be a dog. Like, if you are not happy with somebody and you're in a relationship, you have every right to leave. 
Like people like to use excuses where well, we live together, we got a mortgage, we got this, we've been together, da da da. All that shit don't matter because I'm gonna tell you like this: when you are done with something and you're ready to go, you gonna say fuck all of that shit and get the fuck on. Point blank, period. So anybody still using excuses about well I got this or I don't know what I'm gonna do about that and blah blah blah. That shit don't even fucking matter when you're ready to fucking go and you know you're fucking done with some shit. Period. So. As much as this person may use excuses about why they can't leave, I feel like it's a level of codependency as well because this woman may accept a lot of, she may have a high tolerance for this person's behavior. You know what I'm saying? So she she may know that this person runs around, they step out every now and again or blah, 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 but she don't mind it. You know what I'm saying? Because she may feel like, well, that's just how men are or something like that type shit. So she allows this person to do this shit. She may try to ignore it or act like she don't see it or whatever because she just wants to keep this man, but he's not happy with that shit. He like, girl, look, I look, the reason that I is I, the reason that I do this shit is because of you. Like you don't show me the right type of support. You don't love me how I really need to be loved. You can't you can't love me like Divine Feminine loves me. So it's just like I'm I'm I run around and I do this dog and shit is because bitch, I really just want to leave completely. You know what I'm saying? If Divine Feminine would accept me back, I wouldn't even have to do this shit. So, it's like somebody out here that feels like, um, yeah, but look at right under that is lacks maturity and then sensitivity. So, this person has a nerve to be a crybaby. They had a nerve to be sensitive about their feelings and shit. But at the same time, they do this type of shit and they're in my fucking chore. This person acts like a kid. Like, I just got done saying this. This person really wants to leave. A real grown person is not going to stay where they're not happy at. They're not going to stay where they ain't got no peace at. So, if you're still staying in a situation that's disrupting your peace, you haven't grown the fuck up yet. Because, baby, your peace is more important than anything. It's more important than money. It's more important than a relationship. It's more important than hurt feelings. Your peace of mind is everything so it's like this person is allowing somebody to disrupt his peace because divine feminine you won't take this person back they feel like you're being self-absorbed with your empathy with your caring loving nature and shit they feel like you're not sharing that with them anymore so they're stuck having to do this but this person really isn't stuck they could really bust a move and get out of that situation if they wanted to but the fact that they're not doing that is the reason why you won't fuck with this person divine feminine it's just like you're showing me how you would get down in a relationship if shit wasn't going your way you're showing me that you would rather step out on a relationship than grab your balls and break up with a bitch you know what i'm saying you're showing me your punk ass nature so of course i'm not going to extend my emotions or my sensitivity sensitivity towards you you can stay there and you can be stuck period and cry your tears in silence just be quiet shut the fuck up because if you really wanted to do something about your situation or your circumstances you would you're not doing anything this is somebody waiting on somebody they're waiting for divine feminine to put a cape on and come save them or divine masculine they want somebody to come save them out of this situation they want divine feminine they want you to come towards them and be like oh my god baby i just love you so much we need to be back together my life hasn't been the same they're waiting for you to do some shit like that so they can have an excuse to leave when they already got every reason to leave like you don't need divine feminine or divine masculine to come in with a cape on to tell you all this bullshit in order for you to leave a situation where you're not happy yet you don't need divine masculine, divine feminine to do that. You do that shit because of you. Because that's what you want to do. So, let's see what the kipper has. Yeah, a child. So, yeah, for some of you, this person could have a child with somebody, which is why they're doing this shit. Well, like I said, this person's immature with their child card. It's just like, you're just over this person. Like, they just don't get it. Like, is this person is too old, I'm sure, to be doing whatever this is that they're doing or how they're trying to, whatever they're doing in this situation, they're too, they're too old for this shit. Then we got toil and labor out here. So, yes, divine feminine, divine masculine, this is you. Like, just at work, minding your business. You could care less about this childish ass person. It's like, look, that's how you want to live your life. That's how you want to do. Go for it. Like, you're minding your business, head down, focus at work. 
focus on a project, focus on what's important, focus on whatever your plan is that you got, that you want to do. You trying to execute your business, your dreams, your ideas, your focus on your own shit, toil and labor. You're putting in the work or you're getting ready to, and like, you just don't got time for this childish ass person. That's why you're closing this shit out. Without closure, without an explanation, without any of that shit, you're just closing it out because you can clearly tell just based on this person's behavior, they wouldn't even be ready for what you're ready for. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, mm -mm, like you're good, divine feminine, divine masculine. Need one more card. Yeah, but look at this person. This person sitting up, getting their rubber show, getting their shoulders rubbed by whoever the fuck this is. But they're sitting up concerned about you, stressed the fuck out about what you got going on. Look at this shit. This person wants to message you so bad. They're so concerned about what you got going on. For some of you, this person's hair could be graying. I don't feel like this person is this young. They could be a little bit older. They could be like early 40s or something like that. But because we got 38 on this card too. I feel like they could be, you know, they could be whatever age. But I just feel like this person, maybe they're stressed out. Their situation or their circumstances that they're in has caused them to get some gray. Or they, if they already had a little bit of gray, they got a whole lot of gray now. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like this, this, is, somebody, this is somebody who's... This is somebody who shouldn't have that much gray hair right now. You know what I'm saying? But, like, this situation is stressing them the fuck out. Yeah, look at this shit. Then we got main female on the bottom of the deck. This is this bitch that they're with. You know, she's holding this rose. She loves this person. She like, no, I didn't put in too much time, energy, and effort with you for you to just up and leave. I'm going to be your main female. Like, it's like this person, this whoever this woman is, it's like she didn't debold her way into the main spot. But it's just like, this don't even count. Like, bitch, you didn't debold your way into the to the to being the woman of this man's life, but he don't even want you there. You know what I'm saying? But this is his situation. So for some of you, this man could be in this relationship because of money and finances and shit. Like he's struggling or, you know, he know that if he leave this woman, he's going to be facing poverty. You know what I'm saying? Because this woman may be giving him money, helping him out, giving him a place to stay and shit. It's just like if he don't agree to whatever this woman says, he's going to be asked out with a poverty card. But he wants to look. Message with the privileged lady. So for some of you, you may hear from this person today with the message, this person may text you or call you or say something to you. But this is what's going on behind the scenes. They're with this woman who has forced herself into being a main female in his life. And he just feels, this person's in that lack mentality. For some of you with that poverty card, they feel like that's the best that they can do. This situation with this main female, they know they fucked up with you. They lost out on you. You're not feeling them like that no more. You don't want to extend your energy since you found out how they be doing and how immature they are. So, but like I said, this person is so stressed out and concerned about you when really all they got to do is leave you alone. Clearly, they have a woman or they have a man that they're living with, they're doing life with or whatever the fuck they call themselves doing. But they sitting up here worried about you, want to send you a message, want to call you, want to reach out to you. It's like, why? You know what I'm saying? You got a whole situation going on. You need to get rid of that bitch and get your fucking life together and stop worried about Divine Feminine. But they don't want to do that. They feel like Divine Feminine, you are the way out. You're the person that can save them. Yeah, look at that obsession overindulgence what they say must have indulgence so this person feels like divine feminine this person is obsessed with you and for for some of you divine feminine i ain't even trying to be nasty but for some of y'all y'all a creamer like <laughs> and this person is like wop the fuck out over your vagina like they're just like mm -mm -mm. they just feel like they're motherfucking gushy they just like woo. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. For some of you, and then, like, I know they're supposed to be, like, a jelly donut, but for some of you, I don't know. It's like, when you fuck this person, they either knock your period on, or you didn't have period sex with this person before. I don't know. That's for somebody. But, yeah, this person is whopped the fuck out. They are, like, they're addicted to you, Divine Femme. They feel like everything about you, from your loving na nature to your vagina, like, everything about you is everything. You know what I'm saying? So, this person... 
they want they want that with you you know what i'm saying but at the same time it's immature the way they going about the situation like okay like you love me but you're you're not doing what the fuck you have to do as a man or woman to get me you know what i'm saying like you need to break up with that bitch i'm not gonna you know what i'm saying i don't know i mean collective i don't know i know I feel like you still hold a space in your heart for this person because not because you want this person back. I feel like you just want this person to do better with their life. You know what I'm saying? Get your life together type shit, but can't force somebody to do what they're not ready for. And give me three cards. And I wasn't going to pull from a situation deck, but... I'm just like, fuck it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we got legal. So for some of you, this person could be dealing with some legal shit too. That could be why their money is fucked up. If they're having to go to court for something or they have to attend some type of legalities in regards to, um, you know, court and shit. Uh, others of you, this is this legal card. It's like the justice card. This is karma being served. This person doesn't get access to you because of how they try to treat you they're stuck with this person male or female that they don't want to be with they're stuck because this person hasn't learned how to set boundaries they haven't learned how to you know grow some motherfucking balls and really tell a person straight up like look this is what it is and this is what it ain't because for a lot of you divine feminine divine masculine this person couldn't even come towards you to let you know what was going on after everything transpired they couldn't even step to you as a grown-ass man or a grown-ass woman to let you know why they did what they did or even fucking apologize so now this person somewhere suffering in silence in a situation that they don't even want to be in where they're not truly happy in where they feel like they're settling they feel like oh yeah this bitch or this dude Dude, this nigga he cool but he don't love me like divine feminine did he don't love me like divine masculine did they feel like divine feminine divine masculine your love was specifically tailored to them you know what i'm saying they feel like what they got is just basic like whoever this woman is it's like okay you cool you do everything but you don't do it like divine feminine do it you don't got that sauce you don't got that swag you hear me yeah <laughs> Then we got lost out here. Yeah, so this person is lost. They're a child, a baby soul. It says ghosted, blocked, cut off. Yeah, for a lot of you, this person ghosted you or they blocked you or cut you off out of nowhere because they thought they had somebody better than you. Now they're realizing that you had the best. So they ghosted you, blocked you, cut you out, cut you off, you know, left you out in the cold, didn't say anything to you, wasn't worried about you and shit. I mean, they are, but it's like they may be embarrassed by how they left you. Now they're crushed, sad, and heartbroken. Look at this. Sad, broken, feeling alone. Yeah, I told you this person feels alone. They feel sad. You know, they just feel like they're in a dark place. And not to mention that it's raining here in my city today. So how ironic that is raining on valentine's day and the weather was so when the weather was so beautiful yesterday it was like 60 degrees yesterday it was beautiful but um now today is raining and motherfuckers and sad and shit like i really feel like people emotions affect the weather you know what i'm saying as a collective if everybody's feeling like a certain emotion it does have an effect on the energy and the weather that's just me though i could be wrong i don't have no facts or anything to back that up but that's just how i feel you know but i don't know somebody's sad out here they're crushed they're heartbroken because you're not fucking with the divine feminine you're just like no like you you do too much or you don't do enough or you don't do shit right it's like get the fuck away from around here yeah look cricket silent non-action mm -hmm. so you're not talking to this person you're not talking to this person you haven't heard from them in, in a while it's just like I told you, this person wanted you to put a fucking cape on and come save them, Divine Feminine. But you're not doing that. You're not in the business of saving a bitch or saving a nigga. Like, no, like, you're not in the business of that. I'm not fucking saving you. You get your ass out of that shit just like you got your ass in it. Nobody is coming to save you. Nobody. This person wants you to whisk in. Like, who's the fucking man in this relationship? Who the fuck got the pussy here? You know what I'm saying? Like... 
Brian Feminine, this man wants you to come in and save them from all their woes. And you're not coming to save this person. You did what you wanted to do to try to spite me. Now you stuck there for being petty. That's what you get. Stop trying to be petty. Stop trying to be low down. Stop trying to be conniving. Stop trying to be a dog. This person is forced to run around like a dog and just be stupid because they don't like where they're at. You know what I'm saying? So they're trying to satiate that feeling. They're trying to replace you but it's like no matter how many bitches they run into no matter how many bitches they catch up with none of them can amount to you divine feminine divine masculine like period so somebody out here is just overly they look you don't even talk to this person all they do is think about you like period this person is stressed the fuck out over what you're doing who you're with who you're fucking what you got going on with they whole time they living with a bitch or living with a nigga What zodiac signs are significant today, Spirit? Show me. You got Scorpio out here, Virgo, Mercury, Gemini energy out here. So yeah, like I said, it's a lot of talk. It's a lot of conversation going back and forth about some shit. I'm telling you, like, motherfuckers is very mouthy, okay? Somebody could be worried about what you're doing, divine feminine, what you got going on, divine masculine. Saturn, so it could be a Capricorn. And we got Aries out here. Bottom of the deck is Pluto, so mm, it might be a tower moment today. Some shit might get exposed behind this Valentine's Day shit. You know, somebody might just come out and express their feelings because this is like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Somebody, this emotional shit may get the best of somebody today. Um, it's like, they just can't take it. It's just like, they're too concerned about what you're doing. The fact that you're not saying anything to this person is driving them up the fucking wall it's like bro like what what are you doing who are you with who are you giving that pussy to like somebody this heart heart this heartbroken energy is getting the best of somebody they cannot take it they're concerned you know what i'm saying for some of you this may be a situation where this person's been with somebody for a long time and they stepped outside of the relationship with you and you and this person fell in love like, I don't know if you, if I don't know if you knew this person was in a relationship or a long-term situation, they were married or not. Who's to say if you knew that shit or not? Some of you may have, some of you may haven't. But the feeling that you felt when you was with this person was irreplaceable. You and them fell in love. But this person doesn't have the balls to leave the person that they've been with long-term for you. But at the same time, it's like they don't want you to be with nobody else. They don't want you to fuck with nobody else and shit. Like, no, that's not fair and it's extremely selfish. Like, no, like, collective, you're moving the fuck on. You can't tell me not to live my life, not to be with nobody else, not to go anywhere else, not to talk to nobody else. Or you're trying to force. It's like this person's trying to force. This person's trying to be a side, a side person in your life, divine feminine or divine masculine. Because they refuse to leave this situation they're in. I believe they want to be your person. But they refusing to leave a situation where they were dealing with somebody for a long time. It's just like, look, like the divine family, the divine master, you're at the point where you're just like, look, I understand your situation. I understand what you got going on. Some of them is trying to stay for a child that they have with this person. But it's just like you're stuck with that bitch for the next 18 years or until that, that child is grown enough to make their own decisions and they can do what they want. Some of you, this person is trying to stick with this shit until their kids get grown. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe they just don't trust their child alone with this woman or alone with this man. But that's not your problem, divine feminine, divine masculine. You're not obligated to stay in contact with this person and share your energy with this person or anything because that's the life that you chose. You didn't choose me, so now I get to choose to move the fuck on. Like, this person wants to hold on to you. They'd rather be... 
your side bitch or your side nigga did not have access to you at all but divine feminine you're not into that non-traditional shit you want somebody of your own somebody that you have full access to 100 percent of the time no matter what this little shit that this person is trying to offer you well i can't give you all of me right now because i got too much invested in this other shit with my kids and that all that but i can give you this if you call me i'm gonna come if you need me i'm gonna be there da, 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 da. like no like divine feminine divine masculine is not into that sneaky shit if i gotta sneak around to fuck with you i'm not doing it period what the fuck is you talking about so i feel like it could be some tears here like maybe you tell this person off divine feminine like you tell this person like look i'm not into that shit if i can't have 100 percent of you then i don't want none of it at all it's really black and white it's really simple like real shit yeah, look at this. Eight of Swords. This person is all up in their head because they feel like you got somebody else. And some of you do. Some of you have a new person that you're minding your business with that's giving you attention and shit. And this person's in the background and this devil energy, El Diablo, they're obsessed. They're stalking, obsessively thinking about you, wondering who you're... I was finna say wondering who you're doing. So yeah, they want to know who you're fucking. They want to know that. It's none of their fucking business. Yeah, we got the Knight of Cups. So for some of you, this person may come in and try to apologize to you. That's the least that they could do is fucking Valentine's Day. For some of you, this person might try to apologize to you with the Knight of Cups. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Yeah, but then, like I said, I told you, this person only has a small offer. They can't give you the Ace of Pentacles. They can only give you the Page of Pentacles. And this person definitely wants to fuck you again. They definitely want to sleep with you. Because look at this photo. It's like this is the page of pentacles, but look at him. He's like, Yes, like go on here. Like, I don't feel like this person has bad intentions. They love you, but this person definitely wants to fuck. They definitely need some pussy or some dick from you because that shit is good. So that if they if you take this offer, if you're willing to meet up with them, hang out with them, with them, go on this date with them, this person is hoping that if they buy you enough drinks or you get drunk enough that you will give in and want to have sex with them. Because look at him. It's like that's his motive. So if this person comes towards you, offering you a page of pentacles today, offering you a date, trying to apologize, trying to be sweet and chivalrous and nice, all of a sudden, it's because they're hoping they get the fuck at the end of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Hermit card reverse. So for some, for a lot of you, this could be a Virgo. But if it's not a Virgo, this is somebody who you don't want around. Like this person has shunned, been shunned out of your life. And when I say shun, this means that this is somebody who's not welcoming your energy no more. Like say divine feminine and divine masculine. If you were like a city, if, if you yourself were a city, you know what I'm saying? But in order to get into your city, you know, motherfuckers got to have a certain criteria. They have to, you know, have a certain set of rules or be able to follow the rules or something to get into your city. This is a motherfucker who had access to your city one time and they got put the fuck out because they couldn't follow the rules and shit. So now it's like a big ass sign outside of the city limits before they even enter that has their name on it and says, you are not welcome here. You are not welcome in this motherfucker. This person knows this. Hermit car reverse and it depresses this person. For a lot of you, this person is depressed because they feel like you're not giving access to them. You're being selfish with your energy, with your, your healing, empathy, your energy. They feel like you're 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 not you're not acting right. You won't give this person access to you no more, and they're depressed about it. Mm-hmm. Or did, you're gonna cut this person off today because you realize what this person is trying to do. For some of you, this may be an ex or something that you're still cool with or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the conversation is lit. Whatever y'all had going on, you know, it's just, you know, it's not that anymore. But at the same time, this person is still connected to something. They're obligated to something because of a child or because of finances or something like that, but they're not happy there. They want access to your energy. They want to sleep with you. But it's like, Devon Femi, you're not into that. You're not trying to enter into another third-party situation where you just got yourself out of this shit. Like, fuck no. I don't want to be a part of no third-party situation. So some, some of you, this person is already shunned from your life or you're going to shun this person from your life. Because it's like, no, I'm not into that. I'd rather move on and find somebody else who can give me everything that I want instead of you trying to give me this fucking page of pentacles. I don't want that shit. 
For some of you, this made this page of pentacles made. I mean, it looks like a date out here. So a knot of cups with the page of pentacles. Somebody here may ask you out, may try to spend time with you, um, uh, or something, or an apology or something like that. But I feel like this person just wants to sleep with you though. So I don't. I mean, page of pentacles. I don't see them. This is like page of pentacles is like starting over, being a student. So this person wants to start over with you, but they're still trying to start off on the wrong foot. Like, I don't understand. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah, Ten of Cups reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person, Eight of Swords is being in a mental prison. It's a lot of anxiety and shit. This person is not happy wherever they are. It's like this person is in a relationship where the love is like completely gone. So they're in a marriage or a long-term commitment with somebody that they got kids with. And the love is not even in it no more. The Ten of Cups is in reverse. There's no love. There's no emotional support. There's no motivation. There's nothing. And this person just sits up in their head all day with the Eight of Swords obsessively thinking about you. Even though they're in this unhappy marriage, this unhappy relationship with somebody else, they just sit up and think about you to the point of anxiety. It makes them anxious. It's like it's obsessive thoughts about you, Divine Feminine. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed? They could be in a relationship with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed? Or they could be married to a water sign. Ten of Cups, they are not happy. Ten of Cups reversed? It's an unhappy marriage, an unhappy relationship, okay? Yeah, nine of pentacles reverse. Yeah, I told you. Nine of pentacles reverse could be gold digging energy. A gold digger. Somebody who's only in this relationship for finances. They're with someone because they got money. Because they can can take care of them. Because they can provide for them. Because if they if they leave this person, they're going to be out on their ass. And Divine Feminine, this person knows that you're not getting ready to take care of their ass like that. No. So, Nine of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this person, their money could be funny. They could be broke or they got a business that's not doing well. But they're only with somebody for money and they're not happy there. It's like, <laughs> I just heard, for the love money, I gotta make that money, man. Yeah, this person is only with this person for money or finances and shit. Or the person they're with is only with them for that. There's no emotional support. It's very, this relationship that they're in is very transactional. And look at that ace of swords that's the truth mm -mm. it's very transactional there's no love it's like a business you know what i'm saying nine of pentacles reverse because somebody out here is a gold digger they're struggling this is somebody who will the nine of pentacles reverse somebody who's extremely insecure they're extremely broke they're extremely insecure the nine of pentacles reverse is also somebody who likes to live above their means so it's just like this person they know if they are not in this relationship or if they don't agree to be in a relationship with this person they're going to be asked out they are not going to have any money you know what i'm saying and it's like this person likes nice shit whoever this is they like nice shit they like to dress nice they like to all of that shit so it's just like if they're not if they don't agree to this relationship with this person they're not going to be able to live this lifestyle or spend this type of money or whatever this is that they're used to. Because this person likes to spend money that they don't have. So it's just like they won't be able to continue to do that if they leave this person and they're out on their own. They're not going to have it. You know what I'm saying? They already don't have it. Mm -mm. Ace of Swords. And this person, whoever they're in this relationship with, they may let this person do like little weird kinked out shit to them, you know, just to keep this person satisfied. Like they may let this person tie them up or put handcuffs on them or do some type of weird shit to them, you know, just to seem like, you know, make it seem like their sex life is still good. But it's just like they're not. I thought like somebody's checked out in this relationship, whatever this marriage, this tentacles reverse. Wherever this man or female is that, that wants to be back with you, Divine Feminine, 
they're in a situation where they're just completely checked the fuck out. They be all up in their head with the Eight of Swords, thinking about you, thinking about some other shit. Or reminiscing, thinking about what could have been and shit. But it's just like their money is fucked up. So they're trying to stay with this person that they're with. Mm -mm. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, five of pentacles. Yeah, they're trying to recover from some sort of financial loss. So, yeah, it's like this person, five of pentacles, they're trying to recover from some type of sort of financial loss. And whoever this person is that they're with, this person is willing to help them right now. They know you're not. But that person is. That person is willing to help them with finances and shit. So, they're trying to thug it out with whoever this person is, even though they're constantly obsessively thinking about you but i feel like you may hear from this person still today with the knight of cups and the page of pentacles they may this could even be a gift this person could be like with the page of pentacles they could be like i bought you something or hey like let's link up nightcap have a drink i'm telling you this i'm feeling real tingly so if you link up with this person this could turn into like a night of passion i'm not even gonna lie because I feel like this person, you and this person, you still have love for this person, but you're not in love with them. But this person is in love with you. But I feel like still, I feel like when you and this person get around each other and drinks get involved and shit, I feel like I the only reason I feel like because for a lot of you, Divine Feminine, you're not, I don't feel like your sex life is that active right now. It could be, but it may not be. So, for some of you, I don't feel like if you were to link up with this person and it turned into sex, I don't think it's necessarily because, like, oh, my God, I want this person back or I'm in love. It's more of a, like, like you ain't had nobody touch you in a long time or, you know, you, you ain't had no good dick in a long time. You may know this person has good sex. So, it's just kind of like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't fuck with you because I know you ain't right or you ain't shit. But, like, at the same time, it's just like... The opportunity present itself for you to get some dick and you ain't got to do nothing else. This is like, shit, why not? <laughs> oh, shit, Divine Feminine. It's just like, I don't even like your ass like that, but shit, that dick, that, that, that coochie, shit. I'll hit that shit one more time. Like, <laughs> why is it not a cup here? Yeah, look at this shit. Full card, full, full card with the Knight of Cups. Somebody out here is going to take a leap of faith. They're going to at least try to message you, tell you happy Valentine's Day or something. They're going to take a risk, okay? Real shit. Some of you, this could be an Aries, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. It could be a Libra. What's the fool card here? This person is going to try their luck. Real shit. Mm-hmm. Look at that hangman. This person gonna come crawling back to you. Look at this shit. They can't. This person is like stuck on you. They're enlightened about you. They know who you are. They know you are divine feminine. So you just this could be a Pisces. It's like they can't take it. This person's really in their feelings. They're nostalgic. They're heartbroken. They're like, oh my god, like my divine feminine is really just out here by herself and shit. I'm stuck with this bitch, and my divine feminine is just out here single i can't really offer her the eight eights of pentacles but i can give her the page of pentacles like somebody feels like it's better that they can offer you something than nothing at all you know type of shit but divine family you're still looking at this person like damn like that's all you're willing to give me and i'm the fucking empress like are you out your damn mind like i was a hanging man in here this person is like they're enlightened about you they're stuck on you yeah, look at that. Queen of Cups reverse. Queen of Cups reverse. So let me clarify that. How's the Queen of Cups reverse here? Yeah, Ten of Wands. Yeah, so this is the woman that they're with. Queen of Cups reverse with the Ten of Wands. She trying to get her some dick today, too. Look at this shit. <laughs> I don't know. Like, this Queen of Cups reverse... Queen of Cups can be intuitive. So, this Queen of Cups reverse 
she's aware that she ain't been getting like the same type of dick. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm telling you, told you, like, wherever this person is, they got with this person to spite you, to make you mad. They got with this queen of cups to make you feel some type of way, divine feminine, but it didn't work. It backfired. So now they're stuck with this person because she could be pregnant or they already had a kid with her or, you know what I'm saying? He just knew, he or she just knew that this Queen of Cups reverse would accept them and their bullshit no matter what. So they went back to that to try to make you feel some type of way. But now they're stuck there because now you look at them like immature, disrespectful, a liar, a loser. Like you just don't, you're, you think less of them now because of what they chose to do in the situation. You know what I'm saying? So like... This Queen of Cups Reverse, now she's in her feelings and shit because she know. This Queen of Cups Reverse knows that this man is like entertaining somebody else, talking to somebody else, in love with somebody else. She knows that. But the Queen of Cups Reverse is manipulative. She's manipulative. She's that bitch that's always trying to play damsel in distress. Like, oh my God, baby, like, can you help me with this? Like, I don't know how to do this. Like, this bitch don't know how to do shit on her own. The Queen of Cups Reverse can be codependent, so she depends on this person for a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit that she could po probably do on her own. Like, this Queen of Cups energy is, like, very codependent. You know what I'm saying? Like, she be asking this masculine energy to do shit for her that she could do on her herself as a grown-up, as an adult. Like, bitch, you don't need a man to do some of this shit. You're just lazy, codependent, you're manipulative. Like, she thinks that's how you keep a man is by pretending to be submissive and shit. Like, bitch. But then, at the same time, she in her feelings. Like, Ten of Wands, this situation is heavy. It's burdensome. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of problems in this relationship. It's a lot of stress. Motherfuckers feeling overwhelmed and shit. It's like, bitch, we got money problems. Like, then you get on my motherfucking nerves. You got you know, all this bullshit going on. And, bitch, you want to try to fuck? Bitch, I'm too stressed to fuck out to fuck you. Like, type shit. It's like this person may not be in the mood with her for real. Or I told you, this, this, this female be trying to do some weird, kinked out, freaked out shit to keep this man interested in her. So, I don't know. She may be suggesting, baby, let's do it outside. Or, you know, she's really trying to keep this man's attention or this woman's attention. But I feel like it's not. It's already not on her. her. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's like somebody, like Divine Feminine, you have this masculine's heart. And this Queen of Cups has this masculine's vessel. She has his actual body. He's actually there with her. But his mind and his heart belong to you, Divine Feminine. So it's like this person feels stuck between two things. It's weird. Why is the ten of wands here? Yeah, four swords. Yeah, he may ignore her and shit. Try to get her to be quiet, or you know, he's just four swords is like. What's the four swords here? Yeah, this may be a cancer. Yeah, he just, he he knows that this bitch is manipulative and annoying. So, it's just like, he just ignores her ass. You know what I'm saying? He just tunes her out so he can have some sort of peace throughout the day. It's like, damn, bitch, just shut up. Or he may tell her to shut up, like, when they're fucking and shit. And she may think it's like him being, like, you know, sexual or talking dirty to her, but he's really saying it because it's like, no, bitch, I really just want you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, oh man, why is the moon card reversed? Yeah, it could have been revealed that somebody was cheating with the moon card reversed. The secret came out. Somebody's worst fear came to fruition. Yeah, two of swords reversed. Yeah, and the King of Cups. Yeah, it's like this man, it's like even though he's still with this manipulative ass bitch, he's, he's, this masculine energy has stopped ignoring the red flags about this woman that he's with. He knows how sneaky, how conniving, how manipulative she is. He knows that. That's why he's able to, for a source, not give a fuck about anything that she says or does because he know her. He knows that she's a liar, a trickster, a manipulator. He already knows all of that about her. That's why he holds his cup back. He holds his cup for you, Divine Feminine. Look, he holds his cup for you, King of Cups. This man is in love with you, Divine Feminine. But see, he's with the Queen of Cups reverse. 
he's in love with somebody and this woman she's just manipulative clingy conniving crybaby annoying I told you it's a couple out here king to the queen of cups but the queen of cups is in reverse he's in love with you divine feminine but he has to deal with this queen of cups reverse Five of page of pentacles here Yes, yeah, seven of swords reverse. Yeah, I told you if this person tries to send you a message or something, page of pentacles, they're gonna get caught. Page of or they try to give you some sort of gift, page of pentacles with the seven of swords reverse. Somebody's gonna get caught being sneaky, lying, trying to sneak off, sneak away. Like somebody's gonna get caught here. Why is the seven of swords reverse? Yeah, king of cups. They're gonna I mean king of wands, they're gonna try to take some sort of action and they're gonna get caught. So they're gonna get caught messaging you, page of pentacles and shit. <laughs> Why is the king of wands here? Yeah, look at that ace of wands. Yes, this person has a lot of passion for you. King of wands with the ace of wands. I'm talking about this person wants to fuck so bad. But it's not even just have sex with you. Like, look at the way he's embracing her. Like, this this man just, he loves everything about this woman. He misses her. Like, real shit. I think he even want to put some baby in her, too, because she pregnant on this car. Like, look at him. I'm telling you, you and this person have a lot of, like, fiery passion and sex. For a lot of you, this could be a fire sign, an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Mm-hmm. Wants the ace of wands here. Yeah, temperance reverse. For some of you, this could be um, a Sagittarius. Yeah, this person is upset. They're pissed off. Why are they mad? Temperance reverse. Why are they mad? I be like, Devon Finley, you're just nonchalant. You don't care. It's like, whatever. Yeah, they're mad because they're not getting no pussy. They don't have access to this Two of Cups connection with you anymore. That's what pissing this person off. They're mad because they chose the wrong person. They're mad because they tried to be spiteful and it backfired on their ass. They're just upset. They miss you. It's like they, this person in temperance reverse, they're in their feelings, okay? Like real shit. They're in their feelings. They're, they probably going to get mad at you, Divine Finn. It's just like, look, like, stop trying to keep love from me and shit. The fuck? Yeah, look at this shit. Night of Swords reverse. This person may cuss you out. <laughs> This person is literally going to try to argue with you about this two of cups. Like, Knight of Swords reverse. This is somebody who's a liar, though, or they're very impulsive. They move too quick. You know what I'm saying? They don't think before they act and they get them in a lot of fucked up situations. That's an immature shit. Yeah, two of wands. This person's, I don't know what they're going to do. I feel like somebody's getting ready to do something here today with the Temperance reverse and the Knight of Swords reverse. They may try to make a move, but if you're not, like, accepting of whatever this is, Divine Feminine, it's going to piss them off. Because it's like, this person's going to feel like, okay, I'm taking a leap of faith to come say something to you. When I got this bitch at home getting on my motherfucking nerves, and I get over here, and I want this Ace of Cups and this Two of Wands with you, but you over here talking about what you did, and da-da-da, like, it's a conversation that's not going to go well. You know what I'm saying? Between you and this person, because like I said, a lot of you, it's like the spite. Despite how much good sex you have with this person, you haven't forgot what they done. And if you haven't talked to this person in a long ass time, the last thing you worried about is the fucking sex. You want to get down to the facts like, bitch, this is what you did. That is how I felt. This person is just like, man, like, look, I don't want to hear none of that. Can we just fuck, you know, and make up? Like, no. Two of Wands. Yeah, high priestess reverse with the chariot reverse. He could be with a um a Pisces or a Scorpio. I mean not a Scorpio. A Pisces or a Cancer. Why is the chariot reverse? Nine 
not Knight of Swords. Hold on, y'all. Oh, that's the Page of Swords reverse. Yeah, somebody out here is a liar. Page of Swords reverse, Knight of Swords reverse. Some of you dealing with air signs. You may not leave your Aquarius, but I feel like this person has he has to tell whoever this Queen of Cups reverse is, he has to tell this bitch a lot of lies or excuses in order to like spend time with you or come kick it with you or some shit. And then he get towards you and all you want to do is argue about some old shit. It's like, I don't know. This just might not turn out right. That's the King of Cups here. Yeah, five of swords. Yeah, this person is still trying to win at all costs. They're trying to have shit their way. It's like, yeah, they're in love with you, but they're still trying to get what they want at the end of the day. I don't feel like their their motive or their intentions is really 100% great for you. You know what I'm saying, Divine Penny? It's like this person, yeah, they love you, but they're trying to get what they want too out of you. It's like they low-key trying to put this third-party situation back in place. Magician reverse fell out. Some of you just could be a Gemini. It's like this person, yeah, they're in love with you now. They acknowledge that. But it's like they want shit to go back the way that it was when you were willing to fuck with them even though they were in a relationship. And that shit not getting ready to fucking happen. Why right, some Magician reverse? It's like this person hasn't changed. Yeah, six of wands reverse. They fell from grace. This person has ruined their reputation. They're known for being jealous, a hater, a liar, a shapeshifter. Like, this person doesn't have good intentions, divine feminine. So, although the gesture is sweet, King of Swords reverse, this person is a liar. It's like, they don't give a fuck about this bitch that they with, and they don't give a fuck about you either, Divine Feminine. Well, we got two kings out here, so like I said, this could be more than one person. I feel like this King of Swords reverse, uh, Aries, I mean, not an Aries, this King of Swords reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is somebody, this is this hermit motherfucker reverse that you don't want shit to do with. Five of Swords, the Magician Reverse, the Six of Wands Reverse, and the King of Swords Reverse. So some of you could be hearing from more than one of your exes. If your ex is an air sign, this King of Swords Reverse, that motherfucker just ain't shit, okay? He's not. He's still trying to play games, still trying to one-up you. This person's still jealous of you. Six of Wands Reverse, they're a follower, a loser. Um, Magician Reverse, they just play too many fucking games, this King of Swords Reverse. Like, that's somebody you don't want to talk to. But then there's a King of Cups out here. There's somebody who literally is in love with you. They feel like they just, they made the mistake of marrying the wrong person, having kids with the wrong person. But it's just like, they don't know how to get out of their circumstances. Which still, that doesn't make it better, but it just is what it is. So it's two different men out here, Divine Feminine, you could be hearing from today. We got a Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio. It could be uh, a Pisces or an Aries. And then we got a King of Swords reverse out here. And we got a Sagittarius out here, the Temperance. I feel like you're going to be hearing from more than one person. Why is the Five of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, seven of wands reverse. Somebody's embarrassed about their circumstances. Whatever type of financial setback is embarrassing for so for somebody, they could be like unemployed out of a job, or they're just not, I don't know, somewhere where they're working it to make money is embarrassing. So they could work for somewhere that's not like considered like I don't know. They're embarrassed about where they work at. Queen of Swords reverse. So this person could be acting bitter, detached. Um King of Swords, yeah, King of Swords reverse. See, this is you and this person. King of Swords reverse to the Queen of Swords reverse. You and this person are not talking. Like, real shit. Why is the Queen of Swords reverse? You're not talking to this person. You're not speaking to them. You don't want to speak. If this is an air sign, you don't want to talk to this person about nothing. King of Swords reverse, you don't want to talk to this person. I feel like you're open to talking to this King of Wands. And this King of Cups. But this King of Swords reverse, they not getting no play. Then we got the Emperor out here. Ooh, bitch. Divine Feminine, you got options, honey. We got a King of Cups out here. We got a King of Swords reverse. We got a King of Wands upright. We got an Emperor out here. So I feel like 
you have some decent options, but this one right here, this King of Swords Reverse, you're not. You're like, absolutely the fuck not, bitch. You better get the fuck out of here. So, yeah, I don't know. Divine Feminine, you might have to remind somebody, like, you don't fuck with them or something. Because somebody out here think they sweet. Yeah, Eight of Cups Reverse. Yeah, somebody's trying to come back towards you. They're trying to spin a block again after they left. Like, this is somebody who's an opportunist. You know, they left you to go deal with another option because they thought that option was better than you. Now they're trying to return because they realize it wasn't. But this person tried to play you with the five of swords, the six of swords reverse. This person is a loser and they're jealous of you. Like real shit, this king of swords reverse. So I feel like you're going to have to remind the motherfucker that you don't fuck with them. Like somebody should think shit's sweet. They think because it's Valentine's Day, they can snake their way in and shit. No, bitch, that's not how the fuck it's finna go. Yeah, Six of Swords, you're moving the fuck on, Divine Family. You're like, no, fuck all of y'all. That's oh, some real shit. You might just cancel everybody and just do you, Divine Family, for Valentine's Day. Why's the Six of Swords here? Because you don't want none of what these people are offering. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. It's like none of these people are trying to really put in the work and the effort that it really takes. It's like they're trying to shortcut their way back into the, into your energy or into your life. And you're like, no. Eight of Pentacles reverse. These people haven't done any work on themselves. It's just like, no, leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, Ace of Cups reverse. Like, there is no love here for you anymore. That's an Ace of Cups reverse. Yeah, nine of swords reverse. Yeah, you're like you don't give a fuck. It's just like you chose who you chose. You're where you're you're where you wanted to be. Your situation. That's your shit. Do you? It's like I feel like you're gonna be giving somebody they walking papers. Like get the fuck out of here. You look. Don't even message me. Yeah, why's the king of swords here? This king of swords reverse is bothering me. So if this is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person is annoying. Yeah, look at that. Four cups. You're not interested in this King of Swords reverse. Like, you're just like... It's, it's, and this King of Swords is bitter, very detached, a liar, smart-ass mouth, disrespectful. Like, this person, four cups, I feel like even when you're talking or trying to explain how you feel to this person, it's like they don't give a fuck. It's like this person's very disrespectful and a liar. Yeah, Six of Cups Reverse, yeah. Whoever this King of Swords Reverse is, they got some sort of bad blood with you. The way you, you didn't you didn't break up on good terms with this King of Swords Reverse. With the Six of Cups Reverse, you don't nah, you don't fuck with this King of Swords Reverse. You broke up on bad terms with them. But look at you, Divine Feminine, Queen of Wands. You fine as fuck. Queen of Wands in the Five of Cups. Somebody's in regret over you. They're sad. They're heartbroken. Look how they on their knee trying to beg for your attention and shit. This person is watching you. Their dick gets hard and shit. Queen of Wands. Because you're very sexy. But I'm telling you, you got a passionate connection out here with somebody. Because the king to the Queen of Wands is upright. This king of swords reverse, you can't stand him. The king of cups, he's stuck in a situation, but he's in love with you. And then you got an emperor over here. Who's the emperor? Yeah, you got a lot of men on your bumper, Divine Feminine. A lot of men want to talk to you. So your inbox could be popping right now. Yeah, eight of wands reverse. Yeah, mm -hmm. why is the eight of wands reverse here? Yeah, devil reverse. So somebody out here, whoever this emperor is, it could be all somebody out here um, acting like they're ready to be your man, divine feminine. But I feel like this person is toxic. They're obsessed with you. Eight of wands with the devil reverse. For some of you, you're going to block this person. It's like people's obsessions are getting the best of them. Yeah, three of pentacles. Four of Wands reverse. I told you somebody's in a relationship or they're living with somebody and they're trying to sneak away to have a third party with you. It's like somebody's trying to recruit you to be their side bitch, Divine Feminine, because they won't leave this weird ass bitch that they with. But it's just like you don't have to leave nobody if you don't want to. But at the same time, I'm not going to fuck with you as long as you're in that shit. Like the fuck? Why's the Four of Wands reverse? This would be some twin flame shit. 
Yeah, so definitely an unhappy marriage or an unhappy relationship out here. Ten of Swords. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. Somebody is out here juggling and somebody's going to get their feelings hurt. Ten of Swords, somebody's going to get betrayed because they're going to find out their person is still trying to talk to their ex. Like, real shit. Like I said, because for a lot of you, Divine Feminine, For a lot of you divine feminine motherfuckers were trying to make it seem like it was you that was trying to break up a happy home. These two motherfuckers decided to stay together and it made you look like you were the third party and shit. Like, oh, divine feminine be trying to break up relationships and shit. Whole time, it's this motherfucker that's in this relationship who keeps bothering you. Period. Like, no, like, the fuck you mean? Like, I'm not doing anything. I don't even fuck with this person, but this person won't stop messaging me. They won't stop calling me. They won't stop hitting me up, checking on me and shit. The whole time, they on social media and trying to pretend to their friends and family and shit that they also in love to the bitch that they with. No, they're not. They keep, they're in love with me and keep bothering me because I don't want to fuck with them no more. Period. Yeah, so somebody's going to be exposed here. They're going to find out that this person is in a relationship. Yeah, star card. They want to fuck with the star, the healer. They want that gushy pussy. They, they want that, that wop. Look at that. Somebody's ready to risk it all for that wop. Real shit. Mm -hmm. Look at that wheel of fortune because you're winning. Star card with the wheel of fortune. Some of you luck is on your side. Like you are a star. You're shining. People see that. For some of you, you could be like a semi-celebrity or something, or you're you're gaining popularity or something. Some of you can have like a um some type of healing business. It could be Reiki, it could be tarot, it could be makeup. You do something and putting you in the star energy with the will of fortune and shit is turning in your favor. Like luck is on your side when it comes to this shit. It's gonna make you popular and, and, and shit. It heals a lot of people too with the star energy. Fives a hermit reverse. Yeah, the lovers. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to choose you now, even though you don't want nothing to do with them. It's like this person chose a karmic over you in the past, and now they're harassing you, trying to get you back. But you don't want them. Yeah, page of wands. I'm telling you, page of wands. This person's going to DM you, message you, text you, call you, something. They're going to try to use Valentine's Day as a way to contact you to make it seem like everything is cool, copacetic, or they got a reason to say something to you now. Mm -hmm. Strength card reverse, but you feel like this person is a punk or a loser or a weak ass. Um, could be a Leo. Why is the strength point reverse? You feel like this person is a weak. It's weak. Because it's like you won't turn up on that bitch that you with. But you will rather sneak it. Sneak around and play games. And be all in my inbox and shit. Yeah, seven of pentacles reverse. But this person could be doing it. Because they don't got no fucking money. You know what I'm saying? It's just like they can't do it. Because they going to be out on their ass if they do. Seven of pentacles reverse. This person invested in the wrong shit. And so now their bank account is very low. It could be in the red or the negative and shit. They're frustrated. They're getting impatient with their money and their finances and shit. But also just this bitch that they're dealing with. Yeah, five of wands. They feel like it's competition for you. They're jealous. They're upset about that. It's just like, oh my God. Like, yeah, knight of wands. This person wants to chase you now. Why is it knight of wands here? And I don't even think they know why they have this urge to chase you, but they do. It's, it's, it's something that's pulling them to do this shit. It's like they can't ignore it anymore. Yeah, the Hierophant. Mm -hmm. It could be God. The Most High is calling them to do this because they keep playing around in these situations that's no longer serving them. It's like, what are you doing? I told you to go get Divine Feminine. You over here playing around. Yeah, Page of Cups. This person wants to message you. They getting frustrated. They all up in their head thinking that you're talking to somebody else or there is somebody else. A lot of communication and messaging. We got the Page of Wands out here, the Page of Swords, the Page of Cups. A lot of apologies and shit. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's trying to hold on to you, Divine Feminine. But it's like they got so much shit going on in their life. It's like not even funny. And you're taking the fuck off. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles reverse. It's a missed opportunity with whoever this person is that's trying to chase you now. 
Yeah, death card reverse could be a Scorpio. Yeah, this person hasn't changed. Yeah, in world card reverse, this person feels like you and them have some sort of unfinished business, but you don't. This person is re repeating a cycle because they refuse to change. Now it's a missed opportunity that they're trying to hang on to you. Yeah, three of cups reverse, they had you in a third party situation, possibly with a cancer. And it's just like you're the star in the wheel of fortune. Things are turning up in your life in the best ways possible. And this person sees this. They see you shining. They see you healed. They see you glowed the fuck up. And they want to come back around. Just like, no. Yeah, nine of cups. Your wish fulfillment. Star card with the world with the star card with the wheel of fortune and the nine of cups. I'm talking about divine feeling. You even got people that's just like, damn, like divine feeling. Just let me taste it then. Shit. You don't want to fuck with me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Nine of Cups. <laughs> Tower reverse. Definitely a Scorpio. I really feel like hot and bothered. Somebody out here wants to fuck Divine Feminine. King of Pentacles reverse could be a um if you met um a King of Pentacles reverse uh Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo, you could be dodging a bullet with this person, Ten of Pentacles reverse. They could have just got in. If you're dealing with a king of pentacles, they could have just got out of a relationship and shit. So they're more concerned about money than anything. So you're dealing with a king of pentacles. Put one on queen of wands. Yeah, nine of wands. Yeah, somebody is like so bothered. Seven of cups. Sun, you're shining. The sun and the star. And the Empress, look at this shit. The Sun, the Star, the Empress, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Nine of Cups. Ooh, we divine feminine. Ooh, we. So I'm telling you, it may be a real Emperor in the mix of this shit. But uh, yeah, judgment. Somebody wants a second chance after this third party shit. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, Justice Reverse, could be a Libra. Yeah, because this person's been getting karma ever since they fucked you over. They want to make shit right with you. Three of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. They know you're loyal. They know you handle business. They know you're stable. They know you got money and shit. Three of Wands, this person may be at a distance or you have to travel to see each other. Six of Pentacles, this person wants to balance shit out with you. Nine of Pentacles, but it took them a long ass time and they've been getting their ass handed to them by karma ever since they did this shit. So, yeah. Divine Feminine, this has been... The Valentine's Day reading. I hope that it resonates for some of you. And hope you get something out of it. And that's what's going on today. A lot of bullshit going on because motherfuckers is in their feelings about some shit. So, Divine Feminine, you can expect some unexpected messages or some people trying to explain or put their heart out and shit. Because you are the star. You are the empress. You are the sun. You are the healer. So, Divine Feminine, I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know what you're going to do. Okay, girl. But anyway, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And I will holler at y'all later. Peace.